how to make a three needle bind off with only two needles picking up stitches and binding off along the edge of a fabric. That is what we're going to be working today on Good Knit Kisses. I'm featuring our Seafarers Dickie in this uh, project today, but you can work this with any project. Join me and we'll work on it right now. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. In this video, I am featuring our Seafarer Sticky, and you can get that down at the link below, as well as the needles and yarn used in this video. And you can also get it on Ravelry and Etsy stores, but it's free on our blog, so visit the link there. And I'm working this three needle bind off by picking up stitches on one of my garter stitch rows. And what will happen is we have this little dicky part, which is tucked into your clothing. And then we have uh, this scarf that gets worked and it has this beautiful ribbing that shows along the front so it's going to be folded here and it's going to be connected and you're not going to see any seam but there will be a seam at the back with this three needle bind off so that's how it worked if you know how to work a three needle bind off you're going to pick this up really easy but if you don't know how that's okay we're going to do it here and then you'll kind of get the idea if you were to use three needles um, basically what happens on a three needle bind off you have all of your live stitches here and then you may have live stitches stitches here or say the stitches picked up from a beginning row or somewhere along the lines where you have just used a provisional bind off or held the stitches. So you have a, um, a round of stitches here and stitches here and then you actually just start binding them off across and then it creates a little um, it looks like a slipped seam riding up on the top of your knitting. So let's do that together. If you are following the pattern for this um, particular uh, pattern here, our Seafarer's Dickey, um, what you're going to do is you're going to end on, um, after completing a right side row, so now I'm on the wrong side here, and I do have to flip this um, very intentionally, so I'm just gonna go ahead and include this on the video, just uh, skip to the bind off part if that's all you need. And um, you can see that I'm going to take my knitting, I'm on the wrong side, you can see my right side here because I have it marked, and I'm going to fold my ribbing in half, okay, just how it is, wrong side facing me, and we're folding in half just the ribbing section where you can see the um, very last row of my ribbing. And my working yarn is over on this side. We will have a right and left handed video, so if you need it flipped, go ahead and get that link down below. So you can see the opposite of my working yarn, we're gonna go over to this side here, and I'm trying to use language in case you're right or left handed. So we're gonna go on the opposite side of the working yarn onto where our garter stitch is, and we're going to flip it over, okay, so that we're working on the wrong side here. All right, now we're ready for our three needle bind off. Pull your working yarn out to the side so you can get to it. And with your needle with the live stitches, you're going to start picking up one stitch from the bottom of this garter stitch row. Now, when you look at garter stitch, you're going to notice that it looks like a um, series of smiles and frowns or smiles and umbrellas. So the bottom here looks like a little smile and then the top looks like a frown or an umbrella. So we have smiles and frowns, smiles and frowns. And you go all the way down until you uh, find your very tail end here, the very last stitch. Now, if you had slipped your stitches, that's okay. Um, you may end up getting extra one extra stitch um, over here and you can just work these stitches together and I'll show you what happens if you have one too many stitches, it's okay. So right now, just pick the first bump that you can with this needle here. So pick that up. All right. Now with your free needle, you're going to knit those two stitches together. So if you had another, um, a, a third needle here, you'd just be working the very first stitch on that third needle. So we're going to knit those two stitches together. And then now we're going to work with this next stitch and the next stitch on the garter stitch row. So we're going to pick up one more garter stitch. Make sure you're going through that bottom bump the smile and knit those two stitches together and now you have two stitches on your free needle you're going to bind off one stitch Oops. and you've now bound off one we're going to move on and pick up the next stitch which is this one and knit two together Oops. All right, and bind off one. That's it. 
you're going to continue to pick up the next stitch, knit two together, and bind off one. And as you go along, you're going to see this chain. So let me pull this out so you can see it. It looks like a little chain on this side, and it's going to go all the way across. When we flip it over, you're not going to see any kind of seam, and um, that'll be on the right side of your work. So continue doing that. Pause your video, maybe back for the very last stitch, and I'll show you finishing it off. We'll see you in a moment. All right, I said I would address if you had too many stitches, so this is for those people. If you had um, slipped your stitches on the garter stitch and you have um, more stitches on this end, um, then this is the way you would do that. So you would go ahead and pick up your next garter stitch, that um, smile here, and then you'll work the next three stitches together instead of knitting two stitches together. So these two uh, live stitches plus that garter would get worked knitting those together, and then you would bind off a stitch. Now I don't need that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop those. Let's see, drop doing three, and we're just gonna knit two stitches together. So that's really all you do. And then if you were working in three needle bind off where there was uh, two extra stitches on say the, the uh, third needle, you could um, always work those two stitches together and then have uh, it with this one here, so it would still be three stitches together. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, pause your video, I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I'm on my last stitch. I just picked up my last garter stitch on the edge. Here's my last live stitch, and we will knit those two stitches together. And bind off. And then you'll simply just pull a long strand through and cut. And then you can just weave that tail in there. So let's look at our knitting. So we have our um, three needle bind off here on the back. This little seam here, it's got a little ridge. You'll weave that into the back and you can see that when I flip this over, so it has this part here together, I flip turned it inside out, I have my uh, leading edge of knit stitches with that purl edge kind of rolling, but the, the knit stitches are all at the neck and here's the right side. You can't see any seam here. And if I flip it over, that's where the seam is. So this little dicky just cut, tucks right in and that's what it looks like. So just weave in your tails and you were all done. Well, I hope this has helped you with the three needle bind off. Check out our videos for more tutorials at Good Knit Kisses and of course more patterns at goodknitkisses.com. Click down below and you'll see those. We'll see you soon and happy knitting. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.